So what is DIM? Is it the same as IC3? You may not have any idea what I'm talking about, but it's a question I get many women when it comes to hormones. And when it comes to hormone health, it's really important to understand the importance of healthy estrogen metabolism and how it affects so many metabolites within the body. So let's first off start with a short conversation with broccoli. Now broccoli is a great source of many vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, fiber, and even protein. And a single serving of cooked chopped broccoli provides one fifth of your fiber needs for that day. And one half cup cooked broccoli provides more vitamin C than an orange, which is pretty cool. And there is a wide variety of antioxidants in broccoli, including flavonoids studied for anti-inflammatory response, glucosides, which is metabolized DIM and indole 3 carbonyl, which is studied for the detoxification in the liver system. So first, let's go back to biochemistry. The glucosides in broccoli create cruciferous vegetation within the stomach when it's eaten. And there's an enzyme called miranase and then it's stored into these plant cells that happens within the biome. But once veggies are chopped or chews, this enzyme is released and it can react with the glucosides. And that's when the real magic actually happens. One type is sulforaphane, and it's an indirect antioxidant that stays active in the body for up to 72 hours. And another type is changed into what we call indole 3, meaning IC3. When an IC3 reacts in the stomach, the acidic environment causes the IC molecule to become paired and then become dim. So we have both IC3 and DIM. So they are basically the same, right? Well, they do come from the same source. And the majority of IC3 is converted into DIM. And so much to say that DIM can be detectable in your blood shortly after taking IC3. However, DIM and IC3 are different molecules and different chemical structures. And research even discovered that after four weeks of daily supplementation of IC3, only DIM, not IC3, was found in the blood. And one of the main differences between IC3 and DIM lies in the stability of those molecules. And IC3 is relatively unstable, meaning it quickly converts to that DIM and the other substances within the stomach. And DIM, on the other hand, is really quite stable. Now, whether converted from IC3 or taken as a supplement, DIM progresses beyond your stomach as the active molecule within the body. So why choose DIM over IC3? Now, in terms of a supplement, the benefits for IC3 and DIM are similar, most likely because of the high rate which IC3 converts to DIM. However, these days, DIM tends to be the preferred supplement form because of the instability of IC3 and its conversion to these other molecules. So when you supplement with DIM, you are going straight to the active molecule without waiting for the body to unwrap and first complete all of these other conversion steps. So there are many reasons to supplement with DIM. After it moves through your stomach, DIM is absorbed in the digestive tract and carried to the liver where it supports the hormone detoxification process, including that improvement of the healthy estrogen. DIM also supports healthy testosterone by improving the estrogen to testosterone ratio. And because these hormone balancing effects both men and women, they can both benefit from DIM supplementation. Now I will say that I highly suggest working with a biomimetic approach from testing, right? Test, don't guess. So please reach out to a functional medicine practitioner and you can find the Dutch hormone test which helps you understand this metabolism process and if you are metabolizing estrogen well or not. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this quick little differentiation between DIM and IC3 and how it converts in the body and why most practitioners choose DIM over IC3. But both can be beneficial. 
once you understand your test results and if your body is even able to unwrap the IC3 to convert to DIM. And that's the difference that you learn through testing. So with that said, all my love and all my light. For more short videos like this, go ahead and visit the Awaken Beauty podcast. And uh, you'll find delights just like this around women's health, hormones, consciousness, psychedelics, beauty, and so much more. All my love, all my light. We'll see you on the next one.